Alrighty guys, good morning. It's currently 4.42 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, I'm about to go off for a run. I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go. Two days ago I went for a half marathon, 13.1 uh, miles. Uh, yesterday I did three miles to recover. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the plan is now, but I do know it's 4.42. I just woke up, I had a glass of water, about to have a cup of coffee. I might have some raspberries um, in the fridge. And then I'm going to probably use the restroom. Uh, usually I like to have um, about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes before I go on a run. I'm going to have one pocket of these raspberries uh, as a simple carbohydrate for the run. Um, like I said, I don't really know how far I'm going to go. But I know I'm going to probably stay at a 10-minute pace. Uh, so nothing crazy. Just a nice, slow uh, jog to get the day started. And then i got to go into work. I'm going to go and work out later. Um, so I'm going to take you guys kind of through like a hybrid morning, hybrid day um, where I balance running and I balance uh, lifting weights. So let me throw back some more water, have my coffee, have some raspberries and get out there and uh, put some miles under my belt uh, before the sun comes up. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the morning of a run workout uh, weekend day. All righty, guys. Good morning. Uh, so now it's 5.10 a.m. Um, let me go ahead and put this on my shirt real quick. So it's currently 5.10 a.m. Um, I went ahead and had a cup of coffee. I'm about to have my second cup of coffee right here. Okay. Um, I still don't know exactly how many miles I'm going to run. I'm going to drive down to Annapolis. I'm going to have park my car there. Uh, I'm thinking probably four to six miles. Nothing crazy. My hips are still pretty tight. Um, my body's still feeling a little bit from my half marathon I did two days ago. Um, so my body's feeling a little tight. I'm going to stretch out a little bit when I park. Um, but it's currently 5.11 right now. I'm having a cup, of, the second cup of coffee. It's 69 degrees outside, so it feels it's good weather out there. Uh, I'm going to have a about a cup of raspberries here to get my body started. I've used the restroom once. I'm going to try to use it one more time before I go. Um, one of the hardest things about running at least in my experience, and I'm not that experienced, is just balancing out using the restroom. Like, it's really difficult because you don't want to have to, like, use the restroom on, like, mile four or five. Um, it, it gets really difficult. And then I'm running in these hokas, these hoka bondies. Um, my friend sold these for me, to me, for, like, 45 bucks. I've only ever ran in hokas. Um, actually, the first, like, two months I ran, I was running in, like, regular just cross-training shoes, and it completely tore up my body. So I do highly recommend running in nice running shoes. It's, they're expensive, but they're a great investment. Um, I have had a cup of water. I'm going to try to have another cup of water just with ice. Um, throw back my raspberries, finish up my coffee, and then I should be on the road running probably by 5.30. Um, I should be done around 6.30, and then I have a client at 9, a client at 10. Um, I'm going to try to go to the gym, work out around 1, 1.30 uh, with the weights. So I'm going to do my run. She kind of like my nutrition post run, which is going to be a heavy protein dominated meal. Um, and then kind of show you what I eat before I actually do my workout so I can still get the best workout possible while balancing out my run. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and finish up my cup of coffee, finish these raspberries, finish up a Nick Bear video, and then go ahead and um, have another uh, glass of water. And I'll catch you guys um, either after the run or before the run. Either way, I'll catch you guys later. Sit back, enjoy the video, like and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll catch you guys later. Alrighty, guys, good morning. Um, I wish my other mic was working. It's not working, so it's always a fun thing I gotta fix. Um, but it's currently uh, 5.46 a.m. Let me make sure this is actually recording. My biggest fear is that it's always not recording. But it's currently 5.46 a.m. right now on a Saturday morning. Um, I'm parked here at a place in Naples I used to run all the time and during COVID um, and it brings back so many memories I put in so many miles right here um, with my car parked right here and I used to just run 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 um, but we're back at it and honestly man today's one of those days where I had no desire to get up and run like I did not want to do this at all my body's exhausted as so many other I mean I've been getting up at 350 every single morning Monday to Friday and I did not want to put miles on my feet today but um, it's one of those days where you know I'm gonna do it with a smile you know it's 
one of my new slogans with a smile everything I do is with a smile now um <laughs> and uh sometimes you know no desire to do it like no desire I would much rather just sleep in all day um got up at 4 30 it's been about an hour 15 you can see the beautiful sky behind me um I'm gonna go out there and put some miles on 30 minutes 45 an hour I don't know but I do know that Whatever I do is going to be better than what I wanted to do. Because what I wanted to do was nothing. Um, tight hip, tight calf. Uh, but it's okay. We're going to get after it. We're going to do the best we can. And honestly, man, I got a big weekend ahead of me in terms of moving. And just a lot of things that I think there's many valid excuses why I shouldn't run. Like, there's many valid reasons I could think of. But they don't matter. Like, none of them matter. At the end of the day, if I said I don't want to do it and I didn't do it, well, I'm allowing myself to cheat myself and I'm lying to myself and you know the world's gonna lie to me enough the world's gonna cheat me enough the one thing that I know I can control is myself and how I react so let's have a let's have a effing day dude let's have a good day let's put some miles under my feet I'll catch you guys after this run I don't know if it's gonna be three four five six miles I do know it's 548 and I gotta be done here around seven I want to see that sun coming up near the water I'm gonna whip out my phone probably record a little bit here and there so you guys can uh, just see what's going on, keep you, keep you guys updated, maybe how I feel up to mile one and two, I'm not sure. But I also told myself before I went to bed last night, which was a Friday, you guys watch this like a month in advance. I apologize, just trying to get content because I'm in school and whatnot. Um, uh, that I told you guys I was going to film, so I can't lie, I got to film. If I, said, if I said that's what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. So let's keep it 100, no music, I'm just going to run with the devil in my head, kill him as I go, and do it with a smile. So bury that devil. Do it with a smile. Have a good day, and I'll catch you guys after this run. Peace out. See ya. just hit two miles currently in Eastport kind of lost but not too bad we lost um, just want to let you guys know like this is one of the hardest runs I've done in a while I don't know why but I'm keeping my heart rate under 153 which is my max aerobic heart rate but I'm struggling man I'm not quite sure why I have a few theories one, I think I might have ate too much last night, which could have definitely attributed to it. But at the same time, I'm still doing it. So we're probably gonna end up doing about six miles on this run. As you can see, it's beautiful out here. I'm blessed to be able to run in a place like this. When I move, the runs are gonna be more beautiful, but let me get my feet back under me my breath back under me shout out to hogwarts and uh yeah let's keep this train going So we finished up that run. Uh, let me pull up the charts here on what we did. Um, as you can see, it was absolutely gorgeous, right? Like the run was beautiful. Like I live in an awesome place. Um, before I kind of show you guys the numbers, I just want to be like brutally honest with you. Like that was 
not easy. Like, that was a really difficult run. And I think I have multiple reasons. Main reason is last night, I consumed probably more carbs and fat than I should have. Um, usually before I go on a run, like a decently long run, um, I will go ahead and have like crumble cookie the night before, like maybe one cookie. Uh, so about a thousand calories, about you know, 60 to 80 grams of uh, sugar. Uh, but this time around, I actually <clears throat> consumed a little bit more. I had a pizza, Not, uh, I had a, yeah, I had a pizza. Um, and I think it made me just feel a little bit too heavy. Um, I wasn't really able to control my heart rate as well as I wanted to. I think I finished, uh, let me pull it up real quick. I think I did finish my heart rate at uh, right, right above threshold. So um, my max aerobic threshold is 180 minus uh, 27, so 153. Um, my average heart rate for that run was about 155. The average pace is about 1035. The first mile was an 1130 mile. I felt like my legs were like, each one, I mean, my legs are huge as they are, um, which is not a downside of running, but it does make running a little bit harder, but I do have massive legs. So it is a lot of weight for me to kind of carry, um, but it does allow me to kind of go longer distances because I have um, a large muscle mass in my legs. Um, but my first mile was 1130. Um, I finished my last mile at a 939 pace um, from 150 heart rate to 161 heart rate uh, beats per minute. And usually, I am able to do about a 10 to 10.30 um, zone two run. Uh, I can usually extend that for about eight to 10 miles, usually nine, 10, 11 miles will bump up. Um, but that was just an off run, right? That run was more or less just like, let's just do it. Let's just complete the thing and kind of just scratch that one off. But it was a learning lesson too. Like now I know I can't consume that many calories before my run. I got to keep it, you know, closer to, I don't know, like an extra thousand calories instead of an extra two or 3000 calories. Um, but it was a good run, right? Like, so it was six miles. I haven't ran outside in Annapolis for a while. Normally I run from like uh, the gym to about Annapolis. Um, I haven't ran proper Annapolis, I don't know, probably three years, probably two or three years. Um, and it is different, right? Like there's spikes in your heart rate because it is dark outside. There's like cracks on the ground. Um, you just kind of got to be more aware of your surroundings uh, because there are a few rough parts in Annapolis that if you run through, you, know, you just got to be aware of what's going on around you. Um, so I think my heart rate did go up a few times just because like there would be water on the ground that wasn't supposed to be there. There'd be a crack on the ground that I wasn't expecting to see. So, but I think outside of that, it was overall a great run, especially since I honestly was feeling like dog shit this morning. You probably see it in my eyes. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, the first half of the day. I think, uh, let me just kind of give you like overall numbers. It's 7.03, I got a client at 9.15, so I kind of got to get a roll on here. Um, so it was an hour three, six miles. I burned about, 1200 calories, gained about 126 feet uh, because it is near the, near the water. Everything kind of drains to the bay. Um, so there is elevation at times. 1035 pace, my average heart rate was 155. Um, and that's coming off a run I did yesterday. I did a three mile run on the treadmill. And then the day before that, I did the uh, half marathon on the treadmill. Um, so it's, you know, it's coming off of pretty heavy runs. Um, so my legs are tired. I'm probably gonna run tomorrow. Um, probably three or four miles, nothing crazy, um, just to kind of keep my feet under me. Um, and then I'm gonna actually go to the gym now. Uh, no, I'm gonna go to the gym later this afternoon, probably around, uh, I don't know, 1.30, 1 2, 1.30 or two o'clock. I'm gonna make sure I get some food in me. I have some water in the car, I'm gonna drink some water, um, maybe make some eggs and or some type of steak, uh, eat that, um, get some carbohydrates in me and then uh, go to the gym later after I train a few clients. Um, I think I'm gonna actually train legs today, which should be interesting. Um, training legs after doing a run can always kind of be counter. It can already, all, it, it's hard, it's not easy. Let's just say that. Um, I'm sweaty, I'm disgusting, go home. Um, I'm not gonna shower, but I'm gonna put deodorant on, brush my teeth, haven't done that yet. Make another, another cup of coffee, drink up some water, have some food. I won't show you guys the food, but uh, next clip you guys will see, I should be hopefully in the gym hitting a leg workout. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, my morning, uh, my morning routine as a hybrid athlete. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say I'm a hybrid athlete, but I do hybrid training, which I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know how many miles you have to do before you consider yourself a hybrid athlete. I, I mean, I don't think a lot of people run six miles, so I don't know, maybe that's that. But yeah, as you can see guys, like my legs are massive. Like I have, I'm like all legs. So that, that's, it's hard. It's hard to run with super heavy legs. 
I also think behind me, behind me is a courthouse, but behind me, behind me is the Naval Academy uh, football stadium. I think they're gonna have a football game today. So I probably gotta get out, get my car out of here before the dudes come around and say, hey man, you can't be parked here. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll go ahead and catch you guys at the gym, sit back, enjoy the rest of the video, keep showing love, and I'll catch you guys on leg day at the gym. All right, so I said how I wasn't gonna show you guys my meal. Um, let me go ahead and show you my meal real quick. Let me put on this random hat real quick just so I can clip my mic on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good clip. Cool, awesome, this is real ghetto. Um, but it's currently 8.02. Um, I told you guys I wasn't gonna show you my meal. Let me show you guys kind of just what I'm eating real quick. Uh, my hat looks insane, but I just wanna show you guys my meal. Uh, so I have six whole eggs here, right? I'm not doing egg whites, eat the whole egg. It's like, come on, don't be dumb, eat the whole egg. Um, I got a whole avocado here, and then I got two pieces of bread. Let me show you the type of bread I've been eating. If you guys have been watching me for a while, uh, actually, I think one of my last videos, I kind of explained my diet. Um, but right now, I'm sitting between 220 and 225. As this goes on, I'm probably going to get down between 205 and 215. But I'm eating this Izio sourdough everything bread. It's nothing fancy. It's not like a high-protein bread or anything. It's just straight bread. It's about 25 carbs for each or 25 carbs for two slices. So I have 25 carbs from the bread, I have six eggs. So what's that? That's like anywhere between 30 to 36 grams of protein. I have a whole avocado, 30 grams of fat, I would say, probably about five to 10 grams of protein from that. I'm probably gonna have a banana. It's eight o'clock, I'm gonna leave here at 8.30, train my client at 9.15, consultation or client slash consultation at 10 o'clock. Um, probably come back here, maybe eat like something higher carb focused and then um, then get ready for my workout, which I'm going to film for you guys. So this is going to be a long video. And then tonight, or later today, I probably won't show you guys now, but I have this 50% off uh, USD sirloin right here that I got from Safeway. Safeway's been doing like these 50% off steaks. And my preferred protein source is always steak. Like I'm a red meat connoisseur. I love steak. Um, New York strip, ribeye, sirloin, doesn't really matter too much to me. I just, I love steak. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I probably have an energy drink and get ready to go to work. It's going to be a good day. I'm happy. I've been wanting to film a morning. Uh, it's just hard to film mornings, right? Because I don't want to wake anybody up in the house. Uh, but Rachel's not here for tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and just film this. Or she wasn't here last night. So I'm going to film this. So I'm not waking anybody up. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat this and I'll catch you guys at the gym. Right. So like I said, it's 1.40 p.m. right now. Um, I started editing up this, uh, this video earlier today, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and head off to the gym. I got me some water here in the handy dandy Foundation Fitness Ice Shaker Collab. It's actually a really good bottle. It's actually a really nice bottle. Uh, shout out to the company I work for. They did a good job with this one. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys like my pre-workout stack. This is what I take for uh, anytime I do any like lifting, right? I'll take this pre-workout. So I take five grams of creatine every single day, um, no matter what. I, th there's a few things that I think are kind of kind of mandatory if you're gonna work out. Not, not mandatory, but like if you're not doing, it doesn't really make sense. And one of them is taking creatine. Like, um, there's no reason not to take creatine. Uh, I'm not a professional, so I don't, you know, I'm not a doctor, so don't hold me liable for that. But just based off of about five grams here more than that about five to six grams just based off like all the studies that's ever been done like creatine is so good for you in so many ways um, there's actually a new study that came out just kind of going over like creatine and like when you're sleep deprived and how it can actually help you um, just take your creatine five grams a day female male doesn't matter i eat a crap ton of red meat which has creatine but i still take creatine it just it's just good just make sure you consume more water when you do it so I just pop my creatine in here. I get the unflavored. Also, just get monohydrate. Like, don't get anything crazy. Like, if you start seeing proprietary blends, like, run the other way. Like, it's not, it's, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's just, like, not necessary. Um, so I take that. Then I mix one scoop of the sea bomb. Um, the reason why I take this is honestly because it's cheap. <laughs> And uh, it's at Sam's Club, and I just buy bulk. I, it's got like 60 servings, and it's so I got about one scoop here, 
It's gonna be a lot. Usually, I honestly usually don't take a full scoop. Oh my god, I usually take a like a half scoop. Um, but it has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, oh, it has sea salt too, which I never actually noticed. So it does have sea salt, which is nice, um, especially for running. Um, and it's got uh, L-citrulline, beta alanine, and tyrosine and taurine. Um, one gram of taurine, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, four grams of L-citrulline and L-tyrosine comes in at two grams. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and crush this. I'm gonna take you guys through the workout. I don't have too much planned for this workout. I'm gonna do quad extensions, um, some type of uh, curl for my hammies. I'm a big fan of the uh, curl machine they have at Gold's. We don't have one here at Foundation, but it's still a good curl machine. I think I'm gonna do the seated one. Um, and then probably a hip thrust machine and then a oh what flavor is this fruit punch sour watermelon i don't know i don't really care about the flavor i usually dry scoop everything i'm just not dry scooping for youtube <laughs> um but i'm gonna go ahead and drink this and then probably do a hip thrust and maybe um a straight leg rdl for my glutes so i think that's the plan let me go ahead and give this a gander mm. it tastes good oh it's good Ooh, you. oh gets me going all right, so I'm gonna crush that, have some water during my workout, sit back, enjoy the leg workout. I'll catch you guys at the gym. <clears throat> All right, guys, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do legs today. Um, <clears throat> gym's pretty busy today. Good amount of people here. Uh, we're gonna get in as much content as we can. <clears throat> Start here with the hoist machine. Um, just repping it out. After the running, though, my knees are kind of sore. Uh, we'll give it the best effort here, though. Let's go. good on my knees. Alright, we'll do that for two more sets. Probably stay here. It's a hoist machine, right? And hoist machines don't give you proper weight. They just kind of give you a number. Um, I don't know what the number means. Uh, but I do know. I didn't know, uh, it's good, whatever it is. Whatever the weight is, feels good. We'll stay there. Two more sets here. struggle with picking music I want to listen to. I just don't have like a playlist, man. The only place I have is uh, my country playlist. I always go back there. Let's go back there again. <clears throat> a new album of Co. Wetzel is so good. Alright, let's just 
Let's go. Let's go Bishop Gun Shine. Let's see where we're at here. That was good. We'll do that two more sets here. Ooh. But yeah, so we're moving in Sunday. Uh, we don't have to be out of the place by the 10th. Um, but yeah, it's a nice place. I'll hopefully, maybe next video.
All right, so we're gonna do this hip thrust machine. I've said it before, I've said it a few times. I think this is probably the best uh, leg uh, machine I've ever used. Um, I just think it's like the leverage points are set up perfectly for hitting your glutes and your hamstrings. Uh, the one downside to it is if you get a cramp here, it's uh, you're in a dangerous position to get out. five plates here um, since I am running a lot right I'm burning a lot of uh, a lot of glute hamstring stuff so I think it's super not I think I know it's too important that I focus a lot on keeping glutes and hamstrings as strong as possible for as long as possible <clears throat> hence using this machine all right so we got four plates on here I forgot to start my, uh, my workout thing on my watch. It's all good though. We're to hit our new goal for the day. There's all the running. Start another set there. <sighs> Felt good. About 360. I sweat all over those, sorry. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. My legs are exhausted. I'm done with this. I'm gonna go home and much steak I'm gonna eat. Or about 120 grams, just pure protein. Best protein in my opinion, red meat. Don't come back to me for that. I'm a big fan of steak. I'm gonna go to the vitamin shop. See if they have, uh, see what energy drinks they have. The weekend at vitamin shop, they always do. One dollar energy drinks. <clears throat> All right. Almost up. Let me go. Scared for glutes though. Let's go find uh, one more leg exercise to do here. All right, so we're just gonna finish up with uh, uh, RDLs, the barbell. We normally do it with dumbbells. Um, working out's boring, so you gotta switch it up sometimes. <clears throat> Probably go for such a 10 to 15.
go up with our top set here. 225 RDL. <coughs> Probably listen to saddest music too. <coughs> Alright. So this is 6010. See where we are here. Ground listening to Connor Smith, take it slow. <coughs> That's a good set. That's hard. <laughs> Definitely need straps for that one. That was good though. Alrighty guys, so that's it. For the day, it's for the workout. The four movements. Um, you guys saw all the sets. So we did leg extensions, seated hamstring curls. We did the, um, the movement, the hip thrust machine. Um, I went ahead and did some hamstring glute RDLs. Like, it's super important that if you're going to do endurance stuff, you still maintain leg strength, right? Like, you can't just neglect your legs. I will say my biggest issue before in the past has been going 0 to 100, aka running high zone three, low, low zone four, and then burning out all the muscle in my leg. So you don't want to do that, right? So you want to maintain it as you go. So that's kind of the goal that I'm taking it this time. But I also just want to say one thing. Like, I've had conversations with people before. Like, if you're struggling to – it's kind of out of nowhere. But if you're struggling to lose weight and you kind of are constantly, like, telling yourself, like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But the scale's not moving. It's like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, I don't mean that to be, like, harsh, but if the weight, if your goal is to lose weight, and after a month of doing something, you haven't lost weight, but you're telling yourself that you just can't do it, well, you can't do it because you're not doing the thing that you're supposed to do, which is eat less calories. So, I can get into that in a different video, but, like, if you're struggling to lose weight, track your food. Write it out on a piece of paper. Do it on my fitness pal. Be aware when you're eating. Don't just eat without being mindless. Like, be aware when you're eating. Eat protein. Prioritize your protein. Track your calories so you're not going crazy with the calories, right? That's super important. We don't want to be going crazy with the calories here, right? Because you just won't lose weight if you go crazy with the calories. So it's important that we're following a few guidelines. Protein, eat below <clears throat> your active BMR rate. Find that on Google. And do that. And then you will lose weight. But if you're not doing that and you're not losing weight, it's because you're not eating in a caloric deficit. So that's just like just a one-off topic, but it's something I think is important for down the road because a lot of people will make up excuses why they can't lose weight, but it's because you're not eating less than you're supposed to be. It's just that it's just that simple. Like it's just, that's why I like math because the math is either there or not there. Anyways, I don't want to get off topic. Well, if you guys like that video, little morning routine. Uh, lifting video, little running video, had a little bit of everything there. So hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll catch you guys sometime next week. Um, I think by the time this video comes out, it's going to be October, but it's currently uh, August 31st for me here. I shouldn't be dating myself like that. That's not professional. But I uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Uh, peace out. See ya. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please share with some of your friends and family, anybody in your life. Peace out. See ya.